I got is it versus Golgari. This was my dream. I knew something like this was happen. I knew it. Finally. Bad luck has flew away. And the strike of good luck has came. Yes! I'd be a good author, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes! Yes! Two rares. Normally, I think. Two rares. A dragon and a Golgari dude. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so good at opening this. Hello everyone, I'm here to make a Magic the Gathering Is It vs. Golgari deck pack opening. I got this deck because my mom thought I did really good on the other videos, if you saw them. And I, I worked very hard. I read, I did extra work, I did extra math work, I did everything I could for this deck. So let's hope it is worth the work. So let's dig into here. I'm kind of breaking the box. Who cares? You know what, really? Who cares? I'm not going to reuse this box. Well, I might. Probably not. Okay. Whoa, jeez. This thing exploded. Okay. So, the box, like, completely exploded. Oh man, these cards are like bent. They're always bent. Oh, it's it's fine. They're always the two, the ones in front are always like pretty much guaranteed bent, unless it's on the pretty. Like on the dual decks, they're always. I don't know why. So, well, so I've decided to make a new technique. You know how so many people they just open, and of course the deck starts with the creatures, just to make it a bit more exciting. I'll show it. You guys can admire the dragon while I shuffle. Because you guys don't want to see me shuffle, do you? Bye. No. Too bad. Crazy. No. The first card. Call to heal. The heal isn't like regenerate heal. So lonely sandbar. Whoa, Jesus, land is awesome. I'm keeping this forever. Probably. Um. Nivix. Area of the Firemen. Oh, wait. Look. These two. This is the tower where this guy is on. So why did they put the dragon? So there's an island. Two islands. Three islands. One, like seven, whatever. Magma spray. Deals two damage to target creature. It's useful when someone's played not that good creature and you have no defenders. So, Kiln Fiend. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Kiln Fiend gets plus three plus zero until end of turn. This is nice. Goblin Electromancer. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. That is great, because I'm not sure if he makes himself cast less, but that'd be nice. Pyromatics. Awesome. I love the cards with pyro in front, because I can trade them. So, Thunderheads. Replicate. Two. Wait, it's two mana. Okay. Put a 3-3 three, three blue weird creature token onto the battlefield. And flying onto the battlefield, exile it at the beginning. Okay, so, accumulate, I think, vacuum out, vacuum out, vacuum out. Dissipate, counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Quicksilver dagger. Mountain, mountain, mountain. No one really... Gets excited over mountains. It's just draw a card. Paramatic steals one damage to target creature or player. That's okay. Whoa, mate! This thing is awesome. Yes. This is awesome. 
Look, it's like four mana for a six six. But I think its ability is kind of disadvantaged. Shrewd actually enters the battlefield. Wow. Oh, this is actually terrible. Oh, we know this isn't that good. Shrewd Hatching enters the battlefield with four minus one minus one counters on it. Oh, I guess this is quite good. Because you get to remove a minus one minus one counter on it. So, good. I have another one. Don't know why they put doubles. Doubles are always annoying. Like, unless it's a great, great card. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card of your library. If it's an instant or sorcery card, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. So that's good and it's rare. So this guy's like a mana thingy thingy. Is it Cronark? Whoa, he costs seven mana. Oh, that one so worth. I don't think it's worth it. So it's, oh, an electrode. That's not bad. We Dragonauts. We Dragonauts. Steam Core weird. That one's awesome. Probably awesome. Sphinx Bone Wand. Street Spasm. Invoke the Fire Mind. Fire Ice. Fire deals two damage dividers as you choose among one or two target creatures and or land. Tap target permanent, draw a card. Ooh, I actually do get excited over lands. Ooh, nice. It was not bad. So now let's move on to the Golgari deck. So here's Jared Golgari Lich Lord, Lich Lord, I'm not sure. So this is the second part of the Isa versus Golgari deck. So you guys can admire this guy because we're not going to have a bunch of time while I shuffle, of course. So we are ready to go. So, Golgari Grave Troll. Golgari Grave Troll enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. For each creature card in your graveyard, that is not bad at all. I don't know what Dredge does. So. Stinger Fling Spider. When Stinger Fling Spider enters the battlefield, you may destroy target creature without with flying, I mean. Human Minion. This guy costs a bit of mana for his. Target player discards two cards, activates his ability only one time you cast the sorcery. So that is not bad. Ooh! Man, that is not bad at all. Just... What I don't like is that it's dark. And the picture's kind of scary. Like his eye fell out. He's hurt everywhere. Got two of the, those. Vigor Mortis. It's not bad. Grim Flowering. That looks cool. It's like a tree growing on the guy's dead. Sheen. Twilight's Call, not bad card. Life and Death. Baron Moor. 
Darkmoor Salvage, Golgari Rot Farm, Sfogthos, Sfogthos, The Restless Tom, Tomb Tomb, Tranquil Thicket. These guys, have, this deck has lots of like rare or uncommon lands compared to the other one. So, I'm expecting something. Oh, another separate. Expecting something not so bad. Golgari Thug. This is more on the dark side than the green side. I mean, they should write like more dark or 75% dark, something percent green. That'd like be helpful. Cause then, oh! Whoa! Yes, that's good. Cause if you can, you can play for two mana like a nine nine. You just need to play it at the end of your turn. Boneyard worm. Power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. That is great. Korzda guild mage. That isn't bad. Whoa! Yes! Yes! Glean Crawler. That's awesome. It's these kind of ugly. But it's still awesome. Golgari Rot Farm. Got one of those already. Pertridge Leech. Leech. Paid two life. Pertridge Leech gets 2-2 two, two until end of turn. Activate this ability only once each turn. This is not recommended for me. Pay two life. Two life can cost you the game. Because I played a friend. I beat him one life to zero. Like, he mass attacked me, he used all his creature, and I, I managed to defend and add one health left. Then I used the mass attack, because his creatures were all tapped. And I won because of my defending. And, of course, Shambling Shell. Brain Weevil. Ooh! Greater Moss Dog. That's nice. Oh, that's what Dredge does. I didn't really read it. Still, he like, gives a bit of Glorgari Signet. 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 Goals Feast. Yoke of the Damned. Ooh, Life from the Loan. Return up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand. That's actually quite nice. Golgari Germination. Wait, is this an instant? No. This one's an instant. That looks weird. They have like no arms besides the wings. Putrefy. Destroy target artifact or creature. It can't be regenerated. That is nice. It can't be regenerated. Feast of Famine. Nightmare Void. Come on. Last card of the day. Please be good. Please be good. Yes! 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 It's a 10-10 for 7 mana. And it's rare. And it has Trample. Oh my... Jeez, this card is amazing. Yes! 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 It's awesome. Seven mana. Seven mana for a 10-10. Ten, ten. That's three mana below what it's supposed to be or below my recommendations. And he has trample. And his ability is quite good. The beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Yes! It's amazing. It's an elemental. Yes. That was nice. Doom Gate. Awesome. So, I shall sort my deck with the new cards I got. Wait, first, you gotta check these things out. Is it versus Golgari? Oh, there's a story about them. Oh, I love reading the stories. Well, I've never read one, but I think I'm. Wait, what? There was a guy for that much mana. 
<laughs> this is probably the story of them. Of them two playing together and then being enemies. Not a simple. I didn't have a guy for seven mana. Wait. Just need to check this thing out. They say I have a guy for seven mana. Should contact me them To who? Wait, no. In in this deck. These lands look awesome. Seven mana card. I might put you in my deck. You're good. Seven mana. Wasn't him, can't be him. Oh, it was him. Not bad, he's rare. So I shall sort my deck. Ooh, there's two deck boxes. Well, I certainly won't need that. You know, if you want to make a new deck, you should buy like the pre made decks and then make that a base like make it a base and then you add on cards just make it overpowered so bye that was a good day.